Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 5. Moving forward. In this episode... No, that's terrible. Let me start again. Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 5. Moving forward. This is the Mugen Train arc still. But in this episode, we are watching my boy Nosuke and Tanjiro take on Emu one on one. Well, two on one, isn't it? It's really two on one. So, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this episode. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down in the comments below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe. And let's get straight into this review of episode five, season two of Demon Slayer. Okay, so Demon Slayer, I really enjoyed last week's episode. You know I love the movie Move on Train. So I was really excited to see Emu take on Inosuke and Tanjiro again. And hopefully they were going to add some things and we're going to get some more cool stuff happen in this episode. And to be frankly honest with you, I felt like they did put some new stuff in here. I'm pretty sure I didn't see, we didn't see that much of Nezuko smack around emu in the train there i don't remember seeing her do that many moves well, i could be wrong could be wrong we did also see some little sequences of him taking over the train that we didn't see in the movie but generally still very similar if not identical to the movie but we're going to talk about it anyway because i just love this episode i loved this fight in particular from the move on train movie i love it the banter the fun awesome entertainment that Inosuke brings is so good. I just love it how Inosuke just literally, oh, it's so hard to like put into words, like sees himself as this big alpha, like he's the leader of everyone, yet he fanboys so hard over Ren Goku, which is so cool because he's just like, he's like basically tells him like the googly eye guy was telling me what I need to do, but for some unknown reason, he's so awesome. And it's so awesome to see. And he just, Tanjiro, the way that he intera intera interacts, interacts with Inosuke is so good. Because he understands, in order to get the best Inosuke, you just got to sometimes make him feel like he is the leader and the one coming up with the great ideas. But nevertheless, I love this. This has the Zenetsu moment that we all love from the movie. I remember watching it on the big screen. Absolutely hyped. I love this. Exactly the same. They did it, I believe, a little bit different music it's still got the same music but i think they added a little bit to it as well which i appreciate as well so that moment was still awesome as always when ren goku first wakes up and he's just like well yeah, i can't believe i was asleep like i feel so bad that i was asleep as a hashira and then just proceeds to pr pr proceeds proceeds to fuck up emu as the train just absolutely just comes through but it just looks so gorgeous why does it Rengoku looks so freaking awesome when he's using his fire breathing. It just looks so beautiful. It looks so great. And I'm really going to miss not seeing that. Really am. Because there's just that moment at the towards the end of it where he starts using his moves to save the people when the train's being derailed. It just looks so good. But then we also see Inosuke and Tanjiro take on Emu and find the neck bone and basically destroy him and it's just as gorgeous as always the the score is just something else the score is something else i love the score for this fight it just fits perfectly and when they're coming down when the arms big arms come down it's like they're just the score it just matches it perfectly it looks brilliant the animation is always on point in demon slayer i love the animation the way that they do the breathing the water breathing the beast breathing it's just so brilliant to look on the screen it's just so pleasing so good it's this is all about that fight it really is all about that fight we see tanjiro go under the spell constantly keeps doing what he has to do to wake up and then obviously emu's doing that to try and confuse him what is reality and what is his dream and then in reality he's about to do it and then anosuke saves him and that's when tanjiro realizes oh my god Emu can't do anything to Inosuke because he's got the the boar head on him. So he can't actually see his eyes physically and doesn't know where he's looking. So it's impossible for him to tug at Inosuke, which I feel like Ren Goku knew that in a way. Hence the reason why he sent Inosuke and Tanjiro after it. Because 
having a Nosuke there where he can't be under the spell makes total sense rather than have like a Zenetsu there makes total sense because Inosuke is just that that guy he's just hilarious I just I love him he, whenever he's on screen he's just always funny absolutely funny and hilarious I just love him so much I really enjoyed this episode it's fun it's entertaining if you've seen the movie you've seen this episode nothing new but it's next week's episode that is he's gonna require some tissues I'm telling you that now if, if you haven't seen the movie and you're watching this uh season like it is now and you didn't watch the movie next episode i'm telling you just have some tissues next to you because it's going to be an emotional roller coaster it's going to be absolutely epic it's going to be absolutely brilliant but just know you will need tissues because it's going to come down to a very emotional battle as the title of the next week's episode says akaza and if you guys have watched the movie you know what's coming next an absolute monster of a battle with some sad shit that happens that made me cry in the movie anyway. I haven't cried that much in a freaking movie theater since I don't know when, but like this was just like, oh my God, like so hard to watch, but so awesome at the same time. So, so I'm really looking forward to next week's episode. Let me know in the comments below. What do you all think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down in the comments below. Smash that like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.